we're gonna talk about Robert Kardashian. <laughs> I do have a man that's fitting this kind of bill of passing away before his time, but he references to an illness. He makes a very close connection on the other side with his mother. He's like, I'm with mom. You would know I'm with mom. Like, there's this connection yeah. and it's like this. There's a joke about uh, two things, funny enough. He's having me say monkey and either joke about someone's nickname being monkey or monkey or a monk, like. He had a monkey. Words. A, a stuffed monkey when he was a kid named Zako. Wow. And so Chloe has the monkey. Oh, nice. Yeah. On that makes sense if yeah. she's in the, in yeah. the room. That could be why. Yeah. But that's awesome. That's so sweet. Yeah. And then really quickly, just on the last note, there's a joke about, I'm, I'm seeing a window. And it's a decision about something window related. That is crazy. I don't think anybody knows that. It's so weird. We're gonna replace those windows right there. Was this a conversation that would have just been had recently? Uh -huh. A couple days ago. Okay. <gasps> oh I my know. goodness. That's strange. I know, see? You never know who's watching over you. You never do, or watching your windows. Listening to, listening to your window conversations. Well, if only they would wash them. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> That'd be much more yeah. convenient. Can you pass that message back? I am. Okay, thank you. Grab the window. <laughs> <laughs> um, at this point, I'll ask you, who did this belong to? Robert. Oh. Yeah, turn it over. Yes. You'll see. Oh. I love that. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so special. What an amazing really thing cool. to get to have. Yeah. Look, obviously when people watch the show, mm -hmm. <laughs> they're gonna think in watching this, well, of course Tyler's gonna connect to Robert Kardashian because of course that's yeah. who everybody yeah. knows. But for me, I find oftentimes the more ambiguous, the random details, like the window thing, and those well, the are the The window details. thing nobody would know because right, right. I've never mentioned it to one person. I believe that all of those details, you know, came from him and, and are his way of connecting. You know, well, that's exactly why it's important. Right. I could see the look on Tyler's face and he was like smiling every time he talked about daddy. Right. Because he was laughing going, oh, there's a joke about, and I'm like, that's so your dad. The man that is popping in that I have to acknowledge, um, the feeling is life gets cut too short or like someone passes away before their time. And when he comes through, he acknowledges a reference to music. He is showing a legacy being continued on. Mm -hmm. And then he is having me reference to like a dedication, but in a musical sense, mm. and it comes through. Now, the interesting thing is he acknowledges this hasn't been done yet, mm -hmm. and he feels like he's involved in it. Yeah. I like it. It's amazing because right now I'm working on music for him, right. but he's on the record. That's amazing. And it's just a beautiful connection, and it's all for the love of him. That's awesome. Well, I can't wait to hear it. That'll be yeah. amazing. <laughs> and he clearly is really happy about that. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, I've got that there. Thank you, Pearl. Um, there is an acknowledgement in the way this comes through of him basically <laughs> bringing up this fact of showing me soulmate, soulmate, soulmate. And he's very instinct, like automatic, insistent, very, very, uh, it's like coming through so strongly. It's like soulmate, soulmate, soulmate. 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 Like, what, what do you mean, me with? I, that's what I'm getting at. I'm trying to figure this yeah, out. Yeah, well, I mean, I, my hands are sweaty. That's crazy. The man that's coming through is immediately giving me a reference. He's, okay, excuse me, I'm sorry. It's like, um. having me refer to, there's a mishap in a vehicle. He's showing me the symbol for snapping my fingers. And when I say that, that always references to a quick passing. I feel like I didn't really have time to be able to fully process what I was going through. Yeah, he, um, he died in a car accident. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Because I feel like I have to talk about this. And as he's coming through with this, he's just acknowledging um, a reference of nothing could have been done to, to stop this in the way this comes across. If there is any peace to be found in this, to know that he wasn't in any pain, okay? And immediately the feeling I get is a strong sense of like love and I get an immediate feeling of appreciation and that comes through really strongly. <laughs> oh gosh. You know, in traditional situations, if someone is driving drunk or texting and driving, usually they'll take accountability. Um, in this case, for whatever reason, he's more so projecting accountability outward, um, as in this isn't really my fault. Yeah, it wasn't. The other guy was a, he was killed by a drunk driver. Wow. So the other guy was drunk, yeah. Right. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. 
Well, we all called him Bear. His real name was Edward. And um, Bear was my boyfriend in high school. And when he passed away, we were seniors in high school. And it was very sudden and very tragic. And um, that was 2002. It's still hard for me to get over. Like, I, I feel like, you know, I have gotten over a lot of it. But it's like every time I hear his name or any of the situations, it's why I get so emotional. Because he meant so much to me. When Bear came into my life, we instantly connected. I mean, I've never experienced something like that until my husband now. And it really was crushing. I felt like my whole world came crashing down onto my back. And I thought that was it. Like, I thought, like, how am I ever going to recover from this? He acknowledges your accomplishments and references to being aware of your career. And from his perspective, the feeling is that he has guided you throughout this process. It's a feeling of, like, you carried on his legacy through yeah. your work. Her and I, um, every time before, we'd go out to the ring. Like, we'd make our entrance. We'd always, like, talk to him and my grandfather before we'd go out. Yeah. That's so special. Um, when he comes through, he's immediately showing me a reference to Brian, and I have to highlight the name Brian. Yeah. But it's coming directly from this younger man. <laughs> so who's Brian? Um, Brian's my husband. Oh, nice. Yeah. OK. <laughs> And the way that this comes through is I get a thumbs up, you know, referencing to Brian, because that's his way of saying, I know about this, and yeah. I got the thumbs up with that. So oh, that would be his way of acknowledging. I love that. Um, makes me happy. Yeah, a feeling of awareness with that. For him just to come in and just connect so strongly, hearing Brian's name and like th thumbs up, it, it was surreal. He made this for me, because he, he was an artist. Yes. He, and he made it in art class our senior year. He made me a bear that I could always keep <laughs> by my bed so I could always see him. He says you have two. Um, but he's showing a, 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 I'm going, hold on. <laughs> I have to figure this out. What? There, there's, there's two. Uh, I, so he's, he's talking, I think, about. He's pointing at the paw. You're talking about <laughs> the two. Can I oh, pull up my pants? You can. You can. Don't worry. I'm only. No worries. I got these in memory of him. So he must be talking about my bear Those claws. Those would be the two. Okay. Yeah. That's amazing. Okay. And that's insane. There oh we my go. Gosh. I got those when he passed. Wow. So that's what he meant. And wow. he also made these insane. They're amazing, Tyler. You are so <laughs> sweet. Oh, you're insane. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's so connected, and it's such a sweet, amazing yeah. object. Oh. It's so special. I keep it by my mother Mary. I love that. So, and That's with amazing. my grandfather's, yes. all three of them are right there oh. with each other. That's incredible. That just blew my mind. And uh, the tattoos, like, I mean, oh my gosh, when he pointed to the paw and said two. Ugh. Unreal. Yeah. I mean, the only way I can really describe it is this woman, she feels like on some level you kind of understood some of the parts of her that other people didn't. Uh, she really deeply shows this immense joy that you were raising her child. Um, and that, I, I, I think, is just honestly the strongest message. One thing I want to communicate really clearly is that the place that she had for you in her heart surpassed any other relationship she could have ever had, any other person that could have been in her life. There's an acknowledgement of like, no, you are the soulmate, regardless of any of the other people who try to step forward and act like they're my soulmate. She comes through and is like, no, that's not how this works. You are the one that has the connection to her and that she feels connected to. All of these other people are just extraneous. <laughs> the way that this comes through is because of the nature of how abruptly and quickly she would have passed. She didn't really have the full opportunity to be able to obviously say everything that she wanted to say. When she comes through, she makes it a point for it to be known how much she loved you, and she chooses to really emphasize love, and she shows me a big heart. But she comes through with more appreciation on the other side than she even had in life. And that is immense, because not only were you able to be there you know, throughout life, she acknowledges now that she's gone, you've had to step in. And there's this feeling of an appreciation for a lot of that responsibility. I feel like I just have to keep providing reassurance. I know this sounds strange and I sound like a broken record, but you're doing everything right. Don't question that you're not doing everything right. Reading, sometimes I'll like provide random details. Other times I'll feel the need to provide reassurance. And the way this kind of comes through, I feel like I need to provide the reassurance. When Anna passed away, there was so much left unspoken. Like we had talked one day and she told me that she, uh, she missed me. And she told me she loved me, and, and the next thing you know, I've, I'm hearing on the news like everybody else that she passed away. But so many things that he, that Tyler said um, allowed me to, you know, have that closure. Can I give you her, their name? You sure can. <laughs> um, this, um, my daughter's mother is Anna Nicole Smith, the model that passed away. A lot of things that you hit on was from a lot of this, the, the story that happened. 
people oftentimes assume that because I connect to people that I see what they look like in life and it's actually oftentimes not the case at all. I just kind of go through like the little indications that I get and uh, I end up finding out it's like Anna Nicole Smith. And it's, just, it's nuts, but that's so special. I just didn't know if you can, can you get anything from this necklace that if you... Possibly. If you, yeah, I can I'll hold on to it. And never take it off. Thank you, very cool. Definitely still think I have Anna coming through, so there's randomly reference of being with a little dog that I need to bring up. Um, and there's a connection of like being together with this little dog, but this feels like an animal that would be like a child. Her one pet was like her baby. Oh, nice. And we just found out he um, has passed away today. Wow, that's yeah. bizarre. Because she comes soon and acknowledges that she's with that dog that would be like the child. <laughs> the weird thing was we just found out today that her dog Sugar Pie passed away. And so that was kind of a, um, it was different because I sat back and I thought, there's no way he would have known that. This was, yeah, this was mine, but she wore it and I put hers up. But this, it was like a, always a symbol of, like when we would fight, she would take my necklace and we would go back and forth and then when she was photographed she would be wearing it and it was kind of her way you know she would let me know she was still thinking about me but she wasn't able to like say it or right. the um the necklace that i'm wearing has a special connection with me and Anna. so tyler has to have a pretty big gift for me to take this necklace off there's a lot of different things that were going on in her world from throughout her life and also after her after her death and so that uh, and her son passed away um Three days after my daughter was born, he was visiting the hospital and he passed away. And then my father passed away. And so um, it was a lot in one time frame to, to deal with, but um, he just kind of, you know, just being a dad and doing everything myself, I just kind of had to keep going and keep doing it. And, right. and um, but there's a lot of things that, because everything happened so quick and so fast with these all these people that we're talking about, sure. um, that, there was all these things that were just out there, you know, right. that you don't know how, you didn't have any closure for them. Right. I, I think after all the situation that happened to me, I kind of like, I'm real hesitant around people. Uh, I don't go a lot of places, I don't do a lot of things, because I saw a different side of a lot of different people. Right. I think a lot of the things that you, you mentioned, it was the uncertainty whether she thought I was doing the right job or not, or whether I was doing a good job. And, sure. and I think all the time, like just from little things like trying to, you know, pick out outfits for my daughter to wear that I think that she might have liked, or just doing things with her, that, like letting her paint my nails and stuff she would do with her mom. Right. And all those things you do, you think, is that enough and then enough? And so when you say that she thinks that I've done more than enough, that means a lot. So oh I appreciate that. I'm so glad, absolutely. I'm just looking to be in their company for a little bit. I already know that I have a very deep connection with this person. I just miss them. He was my lover, and his name was Teddy, and we were never married, nor did we live together, but um, he was sick for a lot longer than we knew. Right. Um, he, um... I remember the phone call, and I remember asking, what time did he actually die? Because the night before, I had like an alarm bell go off in my head and I called over to his house to say I can come over right away and I felt like I thought he, you know if... it's hard it's such a hard thing when he comes through there's this feeling of freedom from this not being limited to that physical state anymore. And I think that that's really important for you to know. He is okay, he is at peace. When he comes through, he has such an awareness of the love that's there for you. 